Hey everybody, welcome to Buckshot Chronicles, Season 2, Episode 53, and this morning I'm going to enjoy my weekend, and I'm getting up really, really early. I've been on the road for about an hour and a half almost, and the sun's just coming up. So uh, I'm going to be meeting my buddy in about 10 minutes, because I'm excited. His name is Dan, really nice guy. Uh, I'm going to be doing bear hunting with him this year. He's uh, been baiting for me. He's a really, really good guy. I've known him for a long time. So everybody, I'm with my buddy Dan, and he's, he's got his daughter with him. She's like my ruby. She goes with me everywhere I go, and she goes with you everywhere you go. Is that correct? That's right. So I want to introduce you to Dan. Dan's a good buddy of mine. We've been fishing together probably for about seven, eight years. And, uh, and so he's taking me out today to show us a different way of fishing. Uh, he watches the videos and so I'm really excited to learn uh, today a, a new a new way of fishing that I've never done before. So we're gonna have a good time. So one of the really cool things that we do on the show is that we give people names uh, when we go fishing with them for the first time. So Dan, I'm gonna allow you to give your daughter a name and then I'm gonna allow you to give your dad a name. So if you got, I know you guys had a chance to think about it. So what would you like to, uh, Call your daughter. Queen Fisher Gal. Queen Fisher Gal. What are you going to call your dad? She said Lieutenant Dan earlier. Like, <laughs> 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 sure, we'll go with that. Lieutenant Dan. So he gave her a nice name, and then she gave him a, she gave him a Forrest Gump name. <laughs> she must truly really love her dad. All right, guys, once we start catching fish, we'll get back on. Thanks. So this is definitely something I've never seen before, guys. There's a, uh, you see the hook down there, down here, and it's got some beads on it. And you see that, there we go. And you go all the way to the top, and it's like a metal thing attached to it. This is really cool. I'm mean, really excited to kind of see what this is about and what we're gonna do. I'll have Dan explain it once he gets the pole set up and once we get him in the water. Alright. So, so, we're, so what we're going to do is set up for bottom bouncing. Um, going to run a three quarter ounce to a two ounce weight depending on which rod we're going with. This one's three quarter ounce. Goes down to a setup. It's made by Venom. Venom. with a slow death hook on it. What right. I do is take a night crawler, thread it on by the nose, up, come back, break it off just a touch back. And that one's set and ready to go. Hey everybody, Dan got the first fish and he got a bluegill. Everybody, I got a little bass. I don't know, maybe nine inches, ten inches, maybe something like that. But fat, and nice. Let's throw it back. And just so you know, Lieutenant Dan let us off with a nice sunfish. I got the bass and uh, what was it, Queen Fisher Girl? 
She's got two stumps on the bottom of the lake. So she's in the lead. And got a bass. Another little guy. It's a nice little area for bass. Beautiful out here. Great job, Dan. All right. I got a rock bass. Dan's got like five or six fish. This is my second. And uh, Stacy's got three logs. So we're doing good. We started jigging, and I got this guy. Excellent. Yeah, baby. I got me a crappie. You know, I love my crappies. Everyone, after three hours of fishing, Stacy finally gets on the board with a bluegill. Great job. Good job, buddy. Stacy's got one on. It's not a log, it's moving. And it's moving. <laughs> Most of our logs move like that, but this one's moving just a little bit more. There's the trolling motor. It's up here. Because he's heading that way. Okay, you got a kangaroo on there? I think so. Artwork? No, maybe it's the hoed egg. We're a little too west for the hoed egg, but you know. I think I'll fish it on the wrong side. <laughs> it's into a monster. It's a sea monster, that's what it is. <laughs> now I gotta see what this is. You're making such a fuss over here. Without pulling line out. You got really light line on that. Yeah, so just yeah, don't worry. Four pound on that. He's got you down in the weeds, so just work with him. We're in no hurry here. I'm starting to see it. Oh, it's a nice bass. Big nice bass. Oh, it's, okay. it's all right. It's all right. Take your time. Sit down, buddy. Just breathe. <laughs> Really nice small though. Keep him up all those weeds. I'm trying, but it's don't break him. You know what his name is? I already named him. I already named him Sammy. I got Sammy. I was gonna call him Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can just see him. He's just above it, but I can't get him. Two minute fight. <laughs> well, you got four pound test. There it is. You can see his tail. That's a big one. Yeah, you don't want to knock it off. And I'm going to have to listen to her cry the whole way home about how you broke my fish off. And she'll be like, remember that boat incident? We're even. 
I don't think he's hooked good, Dad. I know he's hooked, but I... Oh! oh. I got the weed off. Yeah, Thanks, there you go. Dad. That's a beast. Not a good. I don't know. How the hell did I hook it? That's a beast. Oh! Jesus Christ, I'm so. I'm so. I the trolling motor was off. Good job. Get a nice small mouth. I'll take it. Well, everybody, we had a good day. Uh, we got eight keepers. Eight keepers. One of them is a uh, crappie. The rest were really nice, decent sized panfish. It's about midday, so we're going to call it a day. I got to go look at some land release some pheasants and uh, take my son and uh, uh, pick up my son and meet Mike and we're gonna have some fun today with him so all right guys thank you very much and Dan thank you, yep. you guys have a good day. yeah we did it Dan and what's her name again wild girl fisher girl or something like that wild fisher girl Stacy back there thank you guys